Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting equation. We have a to the fourth equal to a minus 1 to the fourth. On the first side this is a very easy equation, a lot of students solve it easily and without any problems, but what about the solution to this problem? Maybe a lot of students can see uh, the obvious route right here, but what about solution in math? We need to solve it correctly and step by step and we need to have a solution right here. So let's try to solve it correctly and step by step. The most common mistake right here is to take force root from both sides. A lot of students do this like that, they take force root from both sides and we'll have like force cancel from here, force from here, so we have a equal to a minus 1, which is like absolutely maybe correct, maybe a little bit correctly, but it's very bad solution for you because you've you lost a lot of roots right here. As you can see right here you will have like one root, but what about another roots? Because in math we need to know that right here if we have four we have no more than four roots. So as you can see with this trick, with this bad trick, you forget about roots. So let's try to solve it step by step and I'm going to show you this really interesting approach. First of all we have a to the fourth power. It's really great to express this a to the fourth power as a square to the second power, yeah, as a second to the second power, and let's do the same trick with this expression. So we have a minus 1 raised into the second power and once more to the second power. So absolutely the same, nothing changed for us, we just express this in another way. And right now let's try to bring this expression from left, from right to left. So we have a square squared minus a minus 1 squared, once more squared, equal to 0. And right now I take, take my red pen real quick because I want to write this very, very interesting moment. So imagine this is some expression, for example, for example a, yeah? And this is expression, doesn't matter what expression, equal to b. So if you look closely, this is a square and this is b square. So as a result we have like a square minus b square, which is really important and really obvious formula. This is our identity from school. So a minus b and times a plus a plus b. Yeah, so this is our identity formula. a minus b times a plus b. So let's try to apply this formula right here. Let's try to write this question according to this formula. So a minus b, a plus b. So we have a square minus b square. So a square minus a minus 1 square, so a minus b in the first parentheses and with the, with the another sign, so we have a plus b, so a square plus a minus 1 square equal to 0, which is really obvious for us parentheses because right now we can easily simplify this. We have like a square, so first parentheses a square, so we take this minus and this is our identity formula, so we have like a minus b square, which is equal to a square minus 2a and plus 1, yeah, so this is our first parentheses. The second parentheses is a square plus and the same, the same formula right here. So a square, I write it in parentheses, a square minus 2a and plus 1, yeah. Right now, really obvious, let's try to open our, our parentheses right here. So we have like a square minus a square plus 2a and minus 1, this is our first parentheses, and the second parentheses is a square plus a square minus 2a, which is absolutely the same, but I want to write it step by step, so completely uh, the same way in the, uh, as this one, so equal to 0. Okay, right now, a square and a square we can easily cancel, as you can see, so as a result, two parentheses, 2a minus 1, first parentheses, and the second parentheses, a square plus a square, we have like 2a square minus 2a and plus 1 equal to equal to 0. So right now very important moment because before solving this uh, product per product of parentheses I want to write right here on the on the left hand side, let's do this, I want to write this question once more. So take a look closely. We had in the beginning a to the fourth power equal to a minus 1 to the fourth power. Yeah? So if we take force root from both sides, we have like a equal to a minus 1. So we have like if we bring this to our if we bring this to our like uh, left hand side, so as you can see we have like a minus a equal to minus 1, so no solution right here. So this is this is very bad. So we need to we need to multiply it right here. So as you can see, we have this parenthesis the first and the second parenthesis. So the product equal to zero when first parenthesis is equal to 0, so 2a minus 1 equal to 0, and from here our 2a 
equal to 1 and a equal to 1 half. This is our first root. And I wrote before this exp this uh, solution for you because this is a very bad solution. As you can see, in, in not in all cases, it get you a, a root right here. And the second parentheses. So we have like 2a square minus 2a plus 1 equal to 0. So 2a square minus 2a plus 1 equal to 0. And of course, let's try to find our discriminant or let's try to find real quick our roots. So we have a second and third equal to, so we have minus b, minus b we have like uh, minus b we have minus minus 2, we have plus minus b square minus 4ac, so b square 4 minus 4 times 2 times 1 and all over, all over 2a it is 4, yeah? Let's try to simplify this, we have like minus minus we have 2, 2 plus minus and right here 4 minus 8 equal to minus 4, so as you can see right here we will have imaginary roots we have imaginary roots and over 4 we have imaginary roots. We can easily simplify this step by step or we can rewrite it as 2 plus minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times 4, yeah? And all over 4. This is equal to i because if we can easily separate this square root, so as a result we have like 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 4 over 4, which is equal to 2 plus minus i times 2 over 4, or if we divide both sides by 4, we will have like 1 plus minus i over over 2, which is absolutely complex, complex roots. And as you can see, we find our solution to this question. So I write it here our answer real quick. So our answer, our answer, first root a first equal to one half, which is maybe uh, very obvious for a lot of for a lot of students right here. So very obvious solution. But if you go in according to this method, you can easily see a a second equal to one plus i over two and a third equal to one minus i over two. So all roots right here, three roots to this interesting question, and we solve it complete completely and without without mistakes, as you can see all, all roots right here and our solution real quick. So identity formula bringing from our right to our left, a product right here and simplifying step by step we get really interesting expression, 1 equal to 0 right here real roots and the second we have second parentheses we have complex complex roots. So this is my solution. Of course, write your suggestion into the comment section. What do you think about this solution? And thank you for your time. Have a great day. I try to help everyone. So I, I want to say thank you for your for your support, for your likes. I really appreciate it. And of course, write your question, write your suggestion about this interesting question, because on the first side, this is very hard question, very easy question, sorry. But as you can see, with, with, with a little bit tricks and which is really great. So thank you for your time and have a great day.